If you're looking to buy a camera for YouTube, you know there are tons of camera features and you're not really sure which ones you need and which ones you don't need. So today we are breaking that down. Number one is interchangeable lenses. So there's kind of two types of cameras that you can go with. One of the camera options is where you can change the lenses. You can pop them off, throw a different one on. And then on the other hand, you have cameras where you cannot even have the option to change those lenses. So the question is, do you need to be able to change lenses on your camera for YouTube videos? And the answer is no, you actually do not need this feature. We've seen tons of people in our community with successful YouTube channels that just use their phones and you can't change a lens on a phone. I guess if you have the iPhone, you have three lenses in there. So that's kind of like a cheat code. But we also see people using point and shoot cameras. One of the cameras that we like to use is the Sony ZV-1. A lot of people like to vlog on this camera, but our friend Vanessa Lau actually uses this for her YouTube channel and her shot looks amazing. The lighting's good. The camera is good. And that camera, you cannot change lenses. So you definitely don't need this when you are looking for a YouTube camera. Disclaimer though, it is nice to be able to switch lenses, but do you need it? No. Number two is the 30 plus minute record limit. So I've used the 90D, the Canon 90D, and this DSLR camera does have a 30 minute record limit. So when you're recording video, once it reaches that 30 minute mark, it's just gonna automatically stop filming. So then what you have to do is you have to go back to the camera, hit record again, and then keep filming. So if you ever are filming really long takes, you wanna keep your eye on your camera because it might just stop. Now it might just sound like a no brainer to get a camera that doesn't have any record limit where you can film as long as you want. However, some of the cheaper cameras do have this record limit and I gotta say it is not necessary. I don't think you need unlimited recording time when it comes to YouTube videos. If you are someone who is gonna be shooting super long trainings, maybe even doing a video podcast, then you definitely want to consider this. And yes, you would need that. But if you are vlogging or you're shooting videos like this, we're just sitting down talking to the camera. You don't actually need that even though it is really nice to have. Up next, we have HD. Do you need HD? The, the truth is you don't actually need it. We've seen channels like Alex Hermosi, who basically just shoots in his basement on his webcam, or at least he used to do that. And he got hundreds of thousands of views. And that was less than HD. He's actually shooting in 480p. So do you need it? No. However, I actually want to say you do need it. And let me tell you why. For most of us out there, we are not Alex Hermosi, And we can't just talk into a webcam and tell you our life experiences and all the knowledge that we have about business or whatever it is your YouTube channel is about. And so when I say you do need HD, I think you do actually need it because most of us can't just get by with having terrible camera quality. And when it comes to HD, that's definitely the standard. There's 720 HD. There's also 1080 HD. I do recommend getting a camera that has 1080 HD and most cameras are going to be able to shoot with that these days. So definitely just go ahead and get a 1080 HD camera. Next we have 4K. Do you actually need 4K? The answer is no. You definitely need that HD, but 4K is nice to have. You can crop in, you can do some extra stuff and get better quality, but you definitely do not need 4K when it comes to YouTube videos. The next one is slow motion. Do you need 60 frames per second? If you don't know, 60 frames per second, if you shoot in that and you slow it down to like 24 frames per second, this is 40% slow motion. And the answer is you don't need this for YouTube. If you do want to shoot B-roll, you can definitely get by with just having a camera that shoots 24 or 30 frames per second. And you just don't need slow motion when it comes to YouTube, though it may be nice to have, you don't need it. Up next, we have autofocus. And this one is interesting. I'm definitely gonna put this in the gray area because on one hand, you really do not need autofocus. As long as I wasn't moving around a bunch, this would actually work without autofocus. However, autofocus is so nice to have. And especially if you are a YouTuber and you are moving around a lot, maybe you're doing some vlog style content content or you're just picking up your camera and you want to have something reliable that's always in focus. I totally get that. For me, I would say autofocus because I'm a one man band shooting all of my stuff. It is a need for me. However, I can't say it's a need for everybody. So it kind of falls in that gray area. So that being said, autofocus is one of those things that I would spend money on getting a really nice autofocus system. Sony has some great autofocus. Canon has some great autofocus. So definitely just look into the camera you're looking to buy to make sure it can actually track your face, track your eye, whatever it is using to have a decent shot. So when you're shooting videos, it's not all blurry. The next one is a good built-in microphone. So cameras do have microphones on them, but typically they are not that good. So I would say that you do not need a good built-in microphone because most of the time what you want to do is hook up an external microphone like this or a 
shotgun microphone, a lav microphone that you can clip onto your shirt, whatever it is, you definitely want to use that rather than the built-in microphone on your camera. Anyways, so you don't really need a good built-in mic. The next one is, do you need a mic input on your camera? So, you know, like I said, if you are using a microphone and you want to use that for your videos so that the audio can go into the camera and everything is going to be synced when you press record. The reason you don't actually need the mic input on your camera is because you can record microphones to something else like a Zoom H1, which is like a hundred dollars. And you can get these audio recorders where you can film your audio separately and then just sync them in post. But if you're making YouTube content and you're really committing to doing it, it is very nice to have a mic input on your camera. So you can just plug that microphone right in and then you don't need to even sync the audio to the video in post. You can just start editing right away. That's why it falls into the gray area. You don't need it, but I mean, I definitely would want a camera that has that. Next, we have a headphone output, and this is so that you can plug headphones in. You can actually monitor while you're filming, you know, how it sounds. Now, you don't really need this, though it's nice to have. I wouldn't even say it falls into the gray area. I really think you don't need this. And the reason I kind of have this point of view is because I shot YouTube videos for so long where I didn't even have that headphone output. And the way you're able to kind of get by without monitoring it is because when you're shooting videos like yourself, you need to record a test shot anyways to see how it sounds, to see how it looks. And when I'm filming these videos, I don't have headphones in. And so for me, I don't utilize it as much as a lot of other people do. So for YouTube videos, I would say you don't need that headphone jack on your camera. Next up on the list is a flip out screen. This one's gonna fall a little bit into the gray area. For me, I wanna know what you guys think in the comments down below, but for me, I wanna say that you need it. Now, the reason I'm saying that you need it is because it is so convenient to actually have a monitor of yourself while you are filming YouTube videos, especially if you do this alone. And I know a lot of us are just shooting videos in our bedrooms, at homes, in our offices by ourselves, and we don't have the help of someone behind the camera to be watching the screen while we shoot these videos. Now, the reason you wouldn't need a flip out screen is if you had an external video monitor where you could plug that into the camera and then you could monitor yourself. But because most people aren't going to buy an external monitor with their camera, that's why I say you need it. You definitely need to monitor yourself while shooting. And though a monitor can work, definitely go that route if you don't have a camera with a flip out screen. I definitely recommend that external monitor and that's why it kind of falls into that gray area because you don't need a flip out screen if you get a monitor, but regardless, I think you need to monitor yourself. Next up on the list is do you need a mirrorless camera? So there's two types of interchangeable lenses, cameras. You have mirrorless and then you also have DSLR cameras. Now, you don't need a mirrorless camera. DSLR cameras are fantastic. One of my favorite cameras is the Canon 90D. It shoots 4K video, it's a DSLR, it has beautiful colors, great autofocus, and it's not a mirrorless camera. Now I actually made a complete video breaking down the difference between the two that we'll leave a link to in the description if you wanna check that out. But at the end of the day, any camera is gonna work as long as it works and it gets the job done. Let's talk about full frame. Do you need a full frame camera? Do you not need a full frame camera? Right now I'm shooting on the Sony a7 IV, which is a full frame camera, but the truth is you don't need a full frame camera. There are fantastic cameras out there like the Canon M50, the M6 Mark II, or even the Sony ZV-E10. These have APS-C sized sensors and these cameras are fantastic and are so great for YouTube videos. Yes, full frame is a fantastic upgrade, but you definitely don't need this when it comes to YouTube. Now let's talk about log profiles. These different cameras have these flat picture profiles like S-Log or even Canon and Panasonic they all have their own version of this flat picture profile. A lot of filmmakers actually use this to get the most out of their cameras and then they color grade their footage. But for YouTube videos, you don't actually need this. Sometimes the best thing you can do if you're shooting YouTube videos, if you wanna save time is just shoot in that standard picture profile. You're gonna get a pretty good color out of that. Yes, you could get more dynamic range. You might be able to get more better colors if you shoot in these log profiles, but you don't need that for YouTube videos. Now we're gonna talk about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connection. You know one of those examples with using something like this would be that selfie stick where it's like a vlog kit and you can press record, you can zoom in and zoom out and it's all within that little mini tripod. Although those tripods look really, really cool, you actually do not need that. You don't need a Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connection. It can open up some cool options for your phone or for some cool accessories like that. But at the end of the day, it's really just extra. You don't actually need it. The next question is, do you need great battery life? And this this 
really is a good question because I've used cameras in the past where I've vlogged on the Sony Alpha series and those cameras specifically didn't have the best battery life. But at the end of the day, you can always carry more batteries with you and they are rechargeable. So you can bring a portable charger and actually charge those up on the fly. So though it is super nice to have, I do say you don't really need this for YouTube videos. And another thing is for a lot of these cameras, you can actually get adapters where you can plug one end into the wall and then put a dummy battery into the camera. And this is gonna give you for a shot like this, or if you're sitting down at home, you don't need the actual batteries. You can just plug into the camera, power your camera up and start filming. Do you need a weather sealed camera? This is a really cool feature that we're starting to see on more cameras where you can take it out in the rain and it can just rain down on you and you don't have to worry about your camera breaking, which a lot of us spend a lot of money on this kind of stuff. So it is a very nice thing to have. However, I don't think you actually do need a weather sealed camera. A lot of the cameras that we've used over the years, we've taken them out and shot outside, inside, all sorts of different environments. And though they haven't been weather sealed, they still do just fine. Now I'm not recommending you go and shoot in the rain and the snow and all sorts of other crazy environments. But what I am saying is these cameras do hold up really well to just everyday use. And so you don't have to be scared if your camera isn't weather sealed. Now a camera feature we're starting to see on some newer cameras is two SD card slots. And do you actually need this? The answer is no, you just need one. It is nice to kind of have a backup where you can do dual recordings or you can put your photos on one and videos on the other. But at the end of the day, we've been doing it for a long time with just one SD card slot and that's really all you need for videos. Do you need in-body image stabilization in your camera? And this is something that is so nice to have. It really smooths out the handheld footage while you're shooting and you can get some really cool shots with this. But at the end of the day, you don't really need this. You just need a tripod or a monopod or just to hold the camera steady enough so that it's not super shaky and you're gonna be just fine. And a lot of lenses these days do have image stabilization. So if you are worried about that, you can get a lens with the image stabilization. So handheld shooting is gonna be a lot smoother for you. Now, if you're still not sure exactly what kind of camera you want to buy, then click on the screen and check out the best camera for YouTube. And I'll see you guys in the next video.